Hi everyone, so I will continue my tutorial about pixel mapping and today I will show you how to run pixel mapping on um, on the RGB fixtures like uh, LED buttons. So this been, this been asked again a long time and many times so today I hope I'll answer most of your questions. Okay, without further ado, let's start. So if you want to see something like that on LED buttons, the effects similar to this or this one etc this lesson is going to be something similar to the one i did with the with the sun strips but as it's an rgb fixture i'll show you the, some of the secrets okay so uh this is how we start we'll start a new show file press new show yes live um i'm running on 1843 it's alpha version it's the latest but uh, i mean for me you might be running on 1842 it's going to be exactly the same there's not really much changed okay so we'll go with a the patch then we'll go with the choose hat in for the, my example i was using um glp fixture that's been asked for me before many times so i'm showing how to use that one so you type glp then uh, I think one of the popular ones was the impression X4 bar 20 or X4 bar 10, doesn't matter, I will use the 20. And um, the, the so you can see on the fixtures, if it says, um, you see it says 10 DE, DE means duplicate elements. So basically it tells you if it can run as a 10, 10 elements or in our case is a 20 elements so uh, the mode I'm running is has got 89 channel so it's called SP uh, X S peaks H horizontal uh, with the virtual dims 89 channels and 20 elements so I'll choose that one and after that I'll press patch it and I'll patch 10 pieces I press 10 press enter says insert into the visualizer yes please so you can see here you've got 10 fixtures already patched in and they're all looking down so what we're going to do is following so i will show you how you would normally start and then i'll show you if you've done something wrong how to fix it so first of all let's position the fixtures so they will look at us uh in in a grid so i'll select this one i'll press view grid and you're going to see this you're going to press then set grid size because i want the grid to be so it's a 20 pixels wide so i'm going to say 20 horizontally slash 10 vertically press enter so then you can select those fixtures press remove so they will be removed you click on the um you click on the first uh slot then you press insert heads and then instead of choosing horizontal or vertical, we choose duplicate elements horizontal. This fixture in particular is set to be uh, in the, in uh, set to be horizontal. So we click duplicate elements horizontal, and the pixel orientation is going to be horizontal left to right. So you can see ten fixtures are fully patched in, and uh, what we need to do is we need to hold the shift button. So hold shift button, and then click here on arrange this. So here it's going to show you the next window. So you can choose the back option, choose positioning back. So it's going to be on the back wall looking at us. And the distance we can put 0.2 meters dash, uh, dash point, uh, slash 0.2. Press enter. So now you can see your fixtures are over here. So what we do is we go to the patch window, press view this so you can see your fixtures and using the encoder Y position them lower somewhere like there in the center that center and use the encoder X to move them here so now if you use the mouse to zoom in we can actually position them somewhere where it's going to be suitable for us and move these things a little bit down like that okay so okay. we're happy it points at us it's all good uh, we're happy okay so let's start with how everyone normally would, would would work with this they will select a fixture they will say add effect they will look at intensity view you press intensity and you can say dim chase and you have options duplicate elements include elements and include elements synced so the difference is it in a duplicate element the the console will think that each fixture is um, uh, they're all gonna run together so if I do like that 
Ah, well, it's, yeah, it's a one, so all 20 of them is actually is working, all 20 pixels work as a one fixture, and you can see this nice effect going from up to down, which is nice, and you can change, obviously, direction to be backwards, it's going to go up. If you choose uh, center in, you will see nicely it's all going into the center, you can actually change the width, yeah, and you have really nice effect going in. Again, simple. If you imagine that you position the fixtures uh, vertically, you will be able to actually see this effect easily running uh, like that. So it takes you seconds to create. Fine. Okay, let's go with the next option. We press remove all effects, we press add effects as well, and I press intensity. So then let's try the other option. Dim chase, we say include elements. And nothing changed. You're gonna say, hold on a second, uh, shouldn't it think that like uh, we have say uh, 200 elements going in a row so they all should go like sort of like one after another but it doesn't do it so then you'll be like okay right okay let's look at the third option we go to the third option intensity dim a chase and we press include element synced and again it doesn't work so you will be like hold on a second why it doesn't work so basically the the the, the reason it doesn't work because the it works in the duplicate mode. What it means is that means all elements do exactly the same job as the first element. Why it's done this way? Because in most of the cases, this is the simplest way uh, for the person who starts using the, like working with the multi It uh, and this is the easiest way to control. Because if you start running suddenly by pixels, um, some users may find it uncomfortable. So by default, all fixtures running together as a one uh, as a one group. So that means all twenty cells of the first fixture running together. How to fi well, not how to fix it, but it's sort of how to make that individual controls will kick in. To do this, you have to go to the patch window. You go in the view heads. You can see your heads here. Just for, to easy to make it easier, go in the filter selection. So you can see all your fixtures here. Now, if you uh, use the arrows. And go all the way to the right if you can't if your screen does not fit all these menus you can see the last column says individual elements so you select the whole column and press enter now it shows you individual what it means is now the console can control each individual element individually to prove that i will show it to you so if you'll select your head and then if you want to select the cell number one what you do is you press dot one at full and you will be able to see that you've selected the first element across all the fixtures. Now if I want to select the elements 5 through 11 and set them to the certain color, I will press dot five through and then is important you type just 11 because the first time you typed dot you're already indicating that you're working across elements so that means the desk already knows so the error a lot of times people make they put dot 5 through dot 11 this is where the error is but you just do 11 and then you press add full so you'll see it switch selected and then you can set the color and it will only select the elements that you got there and if you want you can easily while this selection is still active you can press record and you can press here and basically you have recorded a group just of those five elements cool okay so this is I just wanted to show you how it works you can always of course press like it go through colors and you'll see that all they all work so the next one is um, is if you want to run uh, and a dimmer effect. So now if you select uh, impression X bar 20, X4 bar 20, you press add. Now you press intensity and you press dimmer chase. So if you select duplicate element, it's work, gonna work the same way. But now if you press include elements, you can see now the effect has changed. So imagine now the desk doesn't, because it's a it's a normal effects engine, It do, the desk does not know how the fixtures are located in a in a 2D space. Therefore, it thinks they're all going in the same, uh, in, in one row. So if you change the width of the effect, you will be able to see that your effect is now going from top to bottom with only some part of it here. So you can, of course, play with the parts, make some different effects, like that. 
but I want to show you how it works this way but also if you press remove all effects press add effect intensity and you press dimmer chase and now include elements you will be able to see that now the effect goes across elements we can actually decrease the size and you can see how your effect is running so you can run it one way or you can change the direction backwards and it works absolutely fine when it comes to the center in center out it works slightly different because the desk in the effects engine again I'm repeating the desk if you run center in the desk does not know the 2d positioning of the fixtures what it knows is it thinks that you have half is going one way half is going the other way so that's why you can see this result so again uh, for more of the things you can do with this I will show you in the next part of the same video where I will show you how to run the effect with a simple pixel mapper on the same fixtures. Stay tuned and watch the next part of this video. Thanks.